So today's mission is to fix this uh, Titan wood chipper. Uh, I've had it a few years. It usually seizes up in there because we leave it outside in the winter um, covered up. Um, so you've got a sort of toothed wheel in there which rotates and cuts the wood into chips. And um, usually it frees up with a bit of oil and some sort of put a stick down there and hammer it to and fro and that sort of frees the wheel up a bit. But um, And it's fine, but this year it's uh, not doing anything. So yeah, I'm going to take it apart and see if I can fix it. But first, I'm going to have a cup of tea, a few biscuits and give it a good hard stare. So I've checked it over electrically from the outside and things look okay. Um, but so now I'm going to take this plate off and uh, see if I can get to the, the working end and the motor. So, um, and to do that, uh, it's all been designed a bit tamper-proof, so you'll need some of these um, Torx um, pieces or bits with the hole up the centre there because you've got a little pip in the fastener there. And then you also need these sort of tri-wing um, bits for the screwdriver. Uh, which look like that. So I'll uh, see if I can take that plate off now and see what's behind it. So that cover comes off then with the tri-ring screws and I've got the sort of support uh, plate here for the bearing end or the bearing end for that rotor if you like. Um, so I'm going to take those out and expect that that whole assembly will slide out um, and the rotor will come out and leave the pump that the um, motor behind. So if I'm lucky and it's a seizure again, then I might be able to run the motor with this out, but we'll uh, we'll see. So it looks like when they designed this plate, uh, this casting, it looks like they were kind enough to provide a jacking point there. So I think I should better get something behind there to try and tease that plate out a bit. Um, so I'll try that now and uh, see how it goes. Well, it turned out that that feature was just holding this um, rubber piece in or this plastic piece in here. Um, so, I'll just see if I can get this moving and uh, perhaps uh, it looks like there's some more screws deep in there which I probably need to get to um, to get that end off so I'll see if I can get this freed up before I do anything else. So the good news is then it was just seized up in here um, and um, I put some sort of WD-40 in there let it soak scraped some of the rubbish out and then um, put this in with the interlock on and it, it fired up so it works okay now. I think what happened there was a on this end plate so this is the, the end plate that I took off there was a big lump of steel sticking up here so I think something caught in there and was stopping it from going around and sort of sort of causing it to to trip so so yeah I've cleaned up the ends now I'll put it together with a bit of grease and then um, we should be good to go and I think lesson learned really is to lubricate it before I put it away uh, at the end of the summer so yeah so all back together and working then. See down there. So tomorrow, if the weather keeps up, we'll be doing some uh, gardening using that. <laughs> 